Hi there, in this video we're going to take a look at how to use DeliverPoint centrally to report and manage permissions across your tenant. So the first thing we're going to do is look at how to navigate to DeliverPoint and then we're also going to have a look at how to add DeliverPoint as a web part on a page and then we'll learn how to use the TrueView effectively to set different scopes for our reporting and our management and we'll have a look at some of those reports and management features that are also available. Okay, so first of all let's go through and access DeliverPoint. So as you probably have already learned if you've seen some of the previous videos is that you can get to deliver point from the shortcut menu in the top right hand corner of any site so if you are on the home site for your environment or if you're inside a communication site or even in a team site uh, you'll be able to access deliver point if you have full control uh, to that particular site if you don't, um, then uh, either you can navigate to it from a site where you do have full control, or you can add it as a web part, and we'll go through that in just a moment. So notice here I've accessed deliver point, and uh, we can go through and show the tree view on the left-hand side, and this starts to give us access to the multiple site collections that exist inside of our SharePoint environment. So we'll come back here in just a moment, but before we uh, move any further in there, what we're gonna do is just add a page. So I'm going to add a page to my SharePoint site and I can choose from a different starter page. Uh, so we'll just go with a blank uh, page here. Of course, we could go through and add a graphic and do these wonderful things. And uh, we can also give it a name. In fact, we would need to give it a name. So I'm going to call this permissions reporting and management. And you could also call it deliver point if you wanted to. And uh, in here, we're going to go through and add the deliver point web part. So notice we can select the deliver point web part from the top there because I've frequently used it. Uh, if you don't see it at the top, you can search for it. So in here, we can just start to type in deliver point and uh, select that web part. And that web part will embed on the page there. And uh, of course, we can now close this side panel and we can publish that page and we can start to use deliver point from this particular page. Now, the advantage of doing that is you, as you can see, add page to, uh, to navigation. So you can always jump straight to this page. Uh, we've got the address that we could copy and share to people. So they've got a easy fixed point uh, or fixed URL in order to be able to access deliver point. Um, or we can, of course, mark this page as our favorites inside the browser and always get straight to deliver point. And uh, even though this is added as a web part on the page, you still have that ability to make it full screen if you want to. So we can uh, make it full screen here and then collapse it back down to a web part if we choose. All right, so that's how we can access DeliverPoint in either of those two ways. And what we're going to do here is just jump into the main DeliverPoint uh, page again. Uh, so I prefer to access it this way, but you may prefer to use it via a web part. That's entirely up to you. Uh, so in here, uh, we can go through and change the scope of the report, as I mentioned. So we're going to do that by clicking on Show Tree View. And you'll notice that the scope, uh, the current scope, is always set uh, for the site that was used in order to access uh, the deliver point environment, unless you did access it via, access it via a web part, in which case uh, there won't be a scope set. So if we click on to Show Tree View, to explain the scope, the scope is effectively allowing us to include a number of different objects with inside our reports or action across multiple different objects in one go. So unlike SharePoint out of the box or Teams out of the box, you can only report and manage permissions on one object at a time. That might be a team, uh, it may be a private channel, it may be a file or a folder, it may be a document library. Uh, with inside a SharePoint, it could be a site, a list, a library, a folder, or a document, or a list item. So rather than report or manage permissions on lots of individual things in one go, DeliverPoint allows us to set a scope for what's included inside of our report, which could include a mixture of different sites, also different lists and libraries, different folders, and different items. So notice at the moment, if I choose a Lightning Tools software here, this is actually my site collection um, and it is indicating the fact that this is a hub site as well and uh, beneath that I have the root site itself so uh, that is called lightning tool software that's actually the same thing um, as the site collection the same, same site except for the site collection when that is selected gives me certain site collection scoped reports which I don't get if I only have the root site selected even though it is the same site 
beneath that, we also have some child sites. So, so notice in here we've got things like expense reporting and purchasing. Now, I can uh, include those uh, in, in some of the different reports if I choose to uh, also include subsites with unique permissions or subsites with inherited permissions and likewise with the lists and libraries. What I can tell by looking uh, and just literally looking at these uh, different sites and uh, different lists and libraries is which ones have unique permissions. You can see here that the document library, for example, underneath purchasing has unique permissions. The reason why I can tell that is the icon is in full color versus these dimmed icons that you see for the other libraries with inside that site. And if we were to just do a search for another site collection, I'm just going to search on the word sales. And in here, notice we've got the lightning tools sale. So as we expand that, uh, just to show you some differences, notice how this region site here has unique permissions, whereas partners is inheriting again, because the region site is in full color. So when we're setting our scope, we can set the scope to be certain sites. So I could select the region site and I could select the lightning tools sales site. And that's looking at both of those sites uh, uniquely since they have unique permissions set on them. So now with those scopes selected, that becomes the scope for the reports. So you'll notice here that if we go to the reports menu and we hit, for example, the discover permissions report, that that discover permissions report includes both of these sites with inside the report here. And uh, that is just a discover permissions report on the site itself. But what we could do is also come up to the discover permissions advanced, which allows me to include any subsites with unique permissions, also any lists or libraries with unique permissions, and the same for folders and items, or even uh, items and folders with sharing links. So what that is going to include, if we just look at the tree view here for a moment, is any subsites with unique permissions. So as we expand regions, there are no subsites from regions. Uh, there are no lists or libraries with unique permissions. Uh, there may be some folders and items with unique permissions. Um, but under the Lightning Tools sales, we also do have regions itself, which is a site with unique permissions. And we also have a document library with unique permissions and so on. So that is the meaning of the scope. So when we hit the generate report again, we get the report. Um, and as we go back to scope, you can see how it's including lots of different objects inside that uh, of all of those things with unique permissions that I selected. OK, so that is how we can uh, set the scope to produce the different reports. Uh, you may get some different types of reports available depending on what that scope is. So notice if I just have, for example, the root site selected. Uh, we have things like the discover permissions, the sharing links, also unique objects, unique permissions, permission summary and usage. Uh, whereas if I was to select a site collection or multiple site collections, I also get some reports such as dead account reporting, unlicensed users and external users and so on. OK, so that is how we can set the scope for the different reports. And you'll also notice that actions can also run with inside those selected scopes as well. So what we'll do here is an example of performing an action on an entire site collection. And uh, to show you what that might be, first of all, let's just discover permissions on this site collection. And what we'll do here is just have a look at some of the different permissions that are set. So notice here that we've got demo user 11, for example, that has edit permissions. Uh, so what I'm going to do is simply come up to the either to the actions menu or I can select that that row here uh, from the actions menu. We can go to account management and we can go through and do something like transfer permissions. So that's what I'm going to do here. I'll perform a transfer permissions from demo user 11 to demo user 12. And what we'll do is select optionally whether we want to process any subsites, also whether we want to support the rollback so we can undo this, and whether we want to change the group memberships as well. So when I hit run, that will take away those permissions from demo user 11, and it's going to give them instead to demo user 12. And that will include modifying any Microsoft 365 groups uh, if necessary as well. So if we were to come back in and refresh this view, 
uh, and let's scroll down to the bottom, you can see that the selected row no longer reads demo user 11, it's reading demo user 12 instead. And that would have affected anything inside of the scope uh, for this particular site if that's what I'd set my options to be. Okay, so that is how we can use DeliverPoint on different scopes and to be able to centrally uh, report and manage permissions. In the next video, we're going to take a look at some of the user-centric type reporting. And uh, in the final video, uh, we're going to spend a little bit more time on some of the operations. Okay, many thanks.